No human being has truly black eyes. Well, unless you get in a fight, but let's play nice, okay? Some of us do have a lot of melanin, so the eye might appear almost pitch black. But a lot depends on lighting conditions. In fact, those who are believed to have black eyes just have a really dark brown eye color. An eyelash is here to stay for 150 days only. The world record for longest eyelash was about 3 inches. You could whip yourself with that. Eyelashes are also home for tiny mites. The world's most common eye color is brown. There are loads of different shades of brown, but the fun thing is they're actually blue underneath. All blue-eyed people have the same ancestor as every other blue-eyed person in the world. Tears aren't just salty water. They're made of lipids, which is basically oil, water, and mucus. Mm. The salinity makes our tears antibacterial. The coolest camera so far has 200 megapixels. The human eye has 576 megapixels. That's why sunsets are so much better in real life than in photos. We blink about 4,200,000 times a year, at least once every 8 seconds. It would be cool if we were given a cent every time we blink. We would make more than $100 per day. It takes about a month for all your skin cells to renew. We shed about 30,000 dead cells every 60 seconds, losing about 8 pounds of skin each year. Our fingernails grow way faster than toenails. Toenails grow almost 4 times slower because they accrue less damage than fingernails. Even though we often stub our toes, a sudden circulation burst doesn't usually last long. A human produces from half a quart to one liter of saliva every day, depending on the person. That's enough saliva in a year to fill a bathtub. No spit! Saliva acts as a perfect remedy. Wounds in our mouth heal way faster than everywhere else. It also helps to taste food. Our taste buds are ready to perceive food only when it's dissolved by saliva. It may sound incredible, but our bones are stronger than they may seem. A cubic inch of human bone can bear about 19,000 pounds, making it four times stronger than concrete. Wait, is that where the term blockhead came from? The only thing that makes our blood types different is sugar. AB and AB types have sugars, while O has none, making it perfect for donors. No sugar doesn't make O type less sweet. In fact, it attracts mosquitoes even more than other blood types. People have only 8 blood types, while cows have 800 and possibly more. Holy cow! Have you ever seen those strange, ghostly-looking flies that seem to float aimlessly right in front of your eyes? Or maybe even inside your eyes? Well, don't be afraid, these aren't flies at all. They're eye floaters. They're especially easy to see if you look at the blue sky or other light in clear scenes. Floaters aren't exactly objects. They're just tiny imperfections in one special part of the main body of the eye, called the vitreous. We see them because these structural imperfections stand in the way of the light that passes from pupil to retina, which forms your vision. So, you don't have to rush to an optometrist the next time you see them. They're usually perfectly harmless. The worst kind of waking up is when you jerk or jump, startled, with the terrible sensation that you fell off your bed or a cliff. It turns out this happens right after you've fallen asleep, at the exact moment all your muscles simultaneously relax. Your brain may mistake it as a distress call, because normally, if all your muscles relaxed, you'd fall. To prepare you for the fall, your brain will naturally send a lot of quick signals to your muscles to make them work again. This phenomenon even has a special name – hypnic jerks. The same thing also happens on a smaller scale making your legs or arms twitch when you're falling asleep. When startled or just scared, your legs might become as heavy as tree trunks, your heart will be pumping, and your skin will get covered in goosebumps. These are all result of the same process – a reaction to adrenaline coming into your blood flow. When adrenaline kicks in, it triggers what's called the fight-or-flight reaction. This reaction causes increased muscle tension and blood flow making your legs feel heavy. All your body systems become highly alert, getting ready to act hard and act fast. But at the same time, this reaction could go two different ways. You might run like an Olympic athlete, 
or you might not be able to move a single muscle. The reason is that there are two kinds of reactions to a dangerous situation. You can deal with it by overcoming it, or you can avoid it completely. Because it's easier to pick fruits from trees in rainy weather with hands like that. No, seriously, let me explain. The wrinkling itself happens when small blood vessels constrict under the skin. But that's not the most interesting part. Mm -mm. Scientists discovered that if the nerves in your fingers are damaged, the wrinkles won't appear at all, no matter how long they've been underwater. That means that wrinkling happens because of a specific reaction of our body to water. It's not just a quality of the skin itself. So it must be important for some biological reason. Further tests have involved trying to collect wet glass marbles with dry hands and with wrinkly wet hands, and they've proved that it's much easier to collect those marbles with wet hands. The same goes for feet too. It's much easier and safer to stand on a wet surface with your feet covered in wrinkles. I guess it's nature's way of improving our grip in a slippery situation. Your taste buds won't work properly if your mouth is too dry. You simply won't feel the taste until the food is covered in saliva. It contains enzymes, which are complex protein molecules. They start to break down your food as soon as it gets into your mouth. A recent study has found out that people can distinguish more than a trillion smells. You tend to remember odors better than sounds or images. That's why smells can evoke distant memories. When you're asleep, you don't feel any odors. Your sense of smell basically deactivates at night. Even if there's some terrible stench in your bedroom, you won't notice it. I'm sure my dog is relieved to hear that. The color of your dream seemed to be affected by the TV you watched as a kid. If it was black and white, you probably see monochrome dreams more often than not. If you're used to color television, your dreams are likely to be colorful. Hmm, what kind of dreams did people in the Middle Ages have then? Nights that say knee? Your heart can give you away when you lie by starting to beat faster. Women's hearts are usually smaller than men's, that's why they have to work harder and make more beats. Otherwise, they won't be able to pump enough blood. Even if you brush your teeth twice a day and never forget about mouthwash, your mouth still remains one of the dirtiest parts of your body. Millions of bacteria live there. The good news is that most of them are good for your health. They protect your body from bad bacteria and viruses. The second dirtiest place is your belly button. You don't really use it after you were born. So this forlorn area accumulates all kinds of germ, sweat, and dirt. The belly button has over 2,300 bacterial species, and it does need extra attention. They say eyes don't grow with the rest of the body. Well, it's not 100% true, because the eyes aren't fully developed until you're about 21. But the absolute growth champions here are your ears and nose. They never stop growing. Wow. What was that thing about elephants again? Must have been a different video. If all your blood vessels were stretched into a single line, dang, you would be in a really tough spot. But they would go round the earth four times. You can't tickle yourself, no matter how hard you try. You've just checked that and failed, haven't you? That's because your brain warns you that you're about to be tickled, which it can't do if it's someone else. <laughs> Ever wondered why you feel so sleepy after lunch? One of the reasons is your circadian rhythm, which runs on a 24-hour cycle. It demands that you have a nap 7 hours after waking up. And the food just adds to this effect. As simple as that. Oh, excuse me, it's time. All muscles in your body are connected to bones at two ends. That's how they pull and create motion. But there's one exception. It's your tongue. On one side, it's connected to a part of your neck. But there's nothing connecting the other side. The average person has about 250 hairs per eyebrow. But some individuals can have as many as 1,100 hairs in total. Um, speaking of eyebrows, they prevent raindrops and sweat from getting in your eyes. And their arched shape makes the liquid slide to the sides of your face. Even if fingerprints are damaged, they always grow back in the way they used to be. Your skeletal cells never stop regenerating. That's why you'll get a completely new skeleton every 10 years or so. 
This process slows down with age, though, and the regeneration takes longer. That's why bones become thinner. People are taller in the morning. During the day, the cartilage around the bones gets compressed, which makes you shorter in the evening. When you're at rest, your liver is the organ that gets the largest blood supply. By the way, the liver is also the biggest solid organ in your body. An adult person takes 12 to 16 breaths a minute. It adds up to 17,000 to 23,000 breaths a day. There are also almost 700 muscles in your body. The smallest of them is in the middle of your ear. Its main purpose is to stabilize the stapes, the tiniest bone in your body. It's responsible for transmitting sound waves to your inner ear. People find it hard to recognize someone they know if they're shown an image of this person without eyebrows. It means that brows are more important for face recognition than eyes. Blondes have the biggest number of hair follicles, around 146,000. The second place belongs to people with black hair. They have 110 follicles. Brown-haired individuals lag behind with 100,000 hair follicles. With 86,000 follicles on average, redheads have the least dense hair. Most people are trichromats. They see three primary colors – blue, yellow, and red. But there are some with a fourth cone cell in their retina. They can distinguish four primary colors – blue, yellow, red, and green. It makes the world look brighter to them. Feet can become bigger. Oh. Ligaments and tendons in them weaken with time, which makes the arches flatter and feet wider and longer. The stomach in your throat feeling you experience while riding a roller coaster is indeed your inside shifting. Some of your organs, like your intestines or stomach, are connected rather loosely. But don't worry, there's no harm in having some fun. Afterward, everything kind of slides back in place. Why do we bite our lips? How often do you find yourself biting your lips? One reason you do is psychological. This bad habit appears with stress and anxiety. Our brain gives our body an order to bite our lips so that we think less about problems and calm down. There's also a less psychological reason. It could be just that your lips are chapped because of the cold. Your brain tells you to bite your lips to refresh them. But in the end, you get the opposite effect – cracked and painfully irritated lips. Better grab some chapstick. It happens that you have such a cool dream that you could immediately write a Hollywood script from it. But as soon as you wake up, you forget 90% of it. The brain prevents you from remembering your dreams for your own good. We remember the past structurally, logically, and in a certain order. Dreams are chaotic, full of symbolism and strange images. So the brain thinks, Ah, this guy already has enough on his plate in real life. He doesn't need that dream consuming his thoughts. Yes, my brain has a bad French accent. So anyway, we often wake up with thoughts about the coming day. So the dream immediately gets kicked out of your memory bank. Yeah, brain, why do you cut my sleep short? Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe the old thinker is worried about being late for work or class. No, it's just that waking up to an alarm clock is a big shock for the body. To avoid this unnecessary stress, the brain releases a protein that's responsible for wakefulness. It'd be pretty handy if you could fine-tune this superpower. Then you can forget about ever oversleeping. Yet why do we react to it with laughter? Well, it's because the most ticklish areas – the armpits and the stomach – happen to cover vital organs and arteries, so nature has made them very sensitive. Response to that sensation can border on pleasure, since all those nerves are being stimulated, and fear for your important innards. So you immediately try to guard these areas, laugh until you cry, and beg the tickler to please stop. But get this, when we tickle ourselves, the body immediately sends a signal to the brain. Stomach to brain, there is no danger, don't react. To this day, tickling is still a bit of a mystery to scientists. We get visible armpit stains at the most inopportune moments – during a speech, on a date, at a job interview. I know it's embarrassing, but your body is trying to protect you. 
It releases sweat in response to any danger or stress. If you were an early human, trying to get out of a headlock with a rival, then your wet skin would be slippery. Sweaty palms also cling to tree branches better. Next time you're giving a presentation, just remember, you'll be able to slip out of an enemy's grip and climb up a tree. Yeah, that's handy. Running and walking would be a challenge without a big toe. It's the most important one, bearing 40% of the body's weight. If you go into space, you can grow up to 2 inches taller. You can thank zero gravity for expanding the discs in between each vertebra. They get squished here on Earth. While listening to this fact, 50,000 cells in your body were replaced with new ones. 7 octillion is the amount of atoms the average adult body is made up of. That's 7 billion billion, or 7 followed by 27 zeros. Tomatoes have 7,000 more genes than humans. Just goes to show you, more doesn't always mean better. Maybe juicier? A caterpillar has more muscles than you do. While we have about 650, they have 4,000. Again, strength isn't always in numbers. Human sweat is actually odorless. It's the bacteria on your skin that interacts with the sweat and produces that smell. Every person has the same number of fat cells, no matter how thin or plump they are. These cells just get bigger or smaller, and you can't get rid of them with diet and exercise. Humans have the same number of hairs on their body as chimps do. Good thing most of ours are too fine and light to be seen. Though, a thicker natural coat would be nice in winter, especially in Dayton.